And our breaking news, a local fire station temporarily shutting down immediately after radon was discovered at more than three times the safe limit. That decision was made just this afternoon in an emergency meeting with city leadership. It is 4 o'clock. I'm Jeff Giannola. I'm Jenny Hansen. That station is Fire Station 75 in Troutdale. Ariel Salk is there. So, Ariel, what do we know about this gas, and do we know if it had an impact on firefighter health? So we can't say that yet. It's not clear yet. But what we can say is the testing company found a radon level of 13, a little over 13. And to put that in perspective, two to four is considered dangerous, according to the captain. Now, radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer deaths in the U.S. after cigarette smoke. Now, that's according to the CDC. And to let you know a little bit more about this, it's a natural occurring radioactive gas. The city has decided to shut down the station and relocate the firefighters until this is resolved. We've been having a higher than normal, it seems like, cancer in our department um, and a lot of contributing contributions to that. But um, our most recent firefighter was from that station uh, that passed away. Um, so when this came, test came up, obviously it piqued a lot of our firefighters' worries um, and their wives' worries. And at the end of the day, we want to be there for the community and we want to provide great customer service and great fire protection, um, as just as, as the city does. But uh, we also need to keep our firefighters safe. Now, according to the captain of Station 75, of the roughly eight of the cancer deaths that he has seen in his career, five of them have worked out of Station 75. Now, they don't want to leave the station. Right now, they're packing up to go relocate. This is what they said, uh, their home away from home. The captain says it is up to the city now to make sure this place is safe for them to return. Reporting live in Troutdale, Ariel Salk, Coin6 News. Mm. Well, as Ariel just mentioned, Fire Station 75 has been a focus in the past. A firefighter, Brian Flowers, spent a decade at that fire station before dying in November from leukemia. Again, it's not clear what impact, if any, the fire station's conditions played in the health of firefighters. Of course, we will continue to follow that story.